How you doing, everyone? For the second time this week, I find myself talking about a movie that involves a bunch of people trapped on an island with a killer. Interesting theme we got going here. Anyway, today we're talking about The Menu, directed by Mark Mylod and starring Ray Fiennes, Anya Taylor-Joy, and Nicholas Holt. Holt and Taylor-Joy play young couple Tyler and Margot, who are traveling to a private island for a very exclusive and very expensive dining experience. It promises to be life-changing, but perhaps not in the way they expect, as Chef Slowick, played by Fines, has prepared a most unusual menu. And the secret ingredient is people! That's not true. So I went into this expecting a horror movie about a bunch of people trapped on an island with a murderous chef. And that is indeed what I got, but it's so much more than that. This is actually a very clever story about a chef who, after years of dealing with every critic and restaurant patron imaginable, has lost his passion for cooking. And that's something that I think a lot of artists can identify with. Not to mention people in the service industry who have to put up with all manner of asshole customers. And of course the critics just suck the joy out of everything. Yes, I see the irony. And every variety of asshole is present in Chef Slowick's restaurant on that fateful night. By design, it turns out. You got your hoity-toity critic. You got your washed-up movie star who still thinks he's hot shit. You have Tyler, who fancies himself a foodie, but really he's just a very annoying wannabe. There's a guy who's been cheating on his wife. There are a bunch of young businessmen who have been coasting through life purely based on their connections. And once they find themselves in a situation where no one gives a rat's ass who they work for or who their father is or what have you, they don't know what to do because that's all they got going for them. I guess they'll just have to rely on their own natural talent and charisma. Oh wait, they have none. And Chef has decided they all need to die tonight because one way or another they have all played a role in killing his passion for his craft or they make money by exploiting people like him. And while a lot of what these people go through is pretty horrifying, it's really hard to feel any sympathy for them at all because they are all pretty horrible people. Especially if you've ever worked in the service industry yourself, you will probably get some satisfaction watching these people get what's coming to them. Although, admittedly, some of them are dying for very silly reasons. Where did you go to school? Brown? Student loans? No? Yeah, you're dying tonight. I did think it was a bit odd that the movie star apparently had to die because he was in a terrible movie that Chef saw once. Really odd because one of his victims is a critic, but now apparently he's playing the critic. So it's okay when you do it. But then there's Margot, who is kind of the odd woman out in this whole thing because she was not actually supposed to be there. She is a last minute replacement on the guest list after Tyler's girlfriend left his annoying wannabe foodie ass. I can't imagine why. So she's kind of the audience surrogate in this dinner from hell. And Chef actually feels some sympathy for her because not only is she not supposed to be there, but he recognizes her as a fellow service industry worker. Which industry is made clear later. And she seems to be the only person in this restaurant who isn't an asshole and has two brain cells to rub together, and she will have to use those brain cells to find a way out of this mess. What really sells this movie for me are the performances. Taylor Joy is every bit the part of the girl who is not supposed to be among all of these snobs. The Do You Know Who We Work For guys, played by Arturo Castro, Mark Sancerre, and Rob Gang, are so good at making you hate them. John Leguizamo plays the movie star, who I don't think is ever actually given a name. He's just credited as movie star, and he is very good at playing this washed-up actor who is in complete denial over the fact that he's washed up. Holt is so very good at looking extremely pathetic and has a much higher opinion of himself than he should, and you know that as soon as his downfall comes, it is going to hit him hard and fast. And of course, there's Fines, who delivers a brilliant performance as the chef. He is the perfect picture of a man who has had all passion for life just sucked out of him, and now he's mostly an empty shell, although there's still a little hint of the man left in there. Overall, I like this one quite a bit. It had some very good performances, and it was ever so satisfying to see these people get what was coming to them. I do think it's worth checking out in theaters if you have the chance, and even if you're squeamish, it's not too gory for a horror movie, so you should be fine. And that's all I have to say about The Menu. Till next time, take care.